everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, hello, we're with Wendy with Scott and Amy. It's a solo trip for me today, and I'm here at Thorpe Park. I'm gonna take you along, and I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how to win the carnival games here at Thorpe Park. It's not always a guaranteed win, but join me as I share some tips and tricks on how I win at the, th at the games here at Thorpe Park. Scott from the future here. There's the fair game policy, just so you're aware of the rules, etc. of the games. So we're coming up to tugboat games now. There's three games here. There's Tub Toss, uh, Hook a Duck, which is winner every time, and Bottle Smash. We didn't record Hook a Duck because there's no skill or anything involved with that one. So with this game, Tub Toss, it's about muscle memory. Um, you can see I'm holding it over my hand over the top, beta backs being a bit of an arch. You want to try and hit either the nuts and bolts or the rim of the tub. Um, hopefully it rolls in, but we didn't actually win on this game here, so I won't bore you anymore. On to Basketball Extreme, there's the things, and obviously they do say that the hoops are oval. With this one, as you can see here, I'm using an underarm technique with backspin. Uh, for me personally, I find this more accurate um you're more consistent than overarm um and in a minute it will pan to my feet um thank you to the camera person that did this for me um as you can see there it went in so i mean the balls are even inflated some of them some of them are flat um but yeah you can see there I'm, I'm literally leaning in as far as i can there's no bar or anything to say you can't um but yeah that's that's how you do it let you go second one uh, ice bottle smash so this one is a, a bit more about accuracy over power i would say on the bottom of the actual stand it does say this is how to win you've got to actually hit the ball in between the two bottom ones at the top of them um this is probably one of the hardest games um pretty consistent with knocking two bottles down but yeah uh haven't won at this game hopefully win in the future uh, but we didn't win so i'm not gonna bore you with any more of this one on to rebound now. This is one of two in the park. Uh, this one's opposite Nemesis, um, and the other one is in Angry Birds Land. So the trick here is, again, you can't go over the red line. You've got to get a right height. That one didn't count because, unfortunately, you have to hit it straight off the backboard and in. That one didn't count because it hit the red bow at the bottom. A nice arch off the board, and in it goes. This is the second lobster pot, again, by Nemesis. This one's all about muscle memory, but as you can see, the buckets are a little bit lower here, or the tubs are a little bit lower as opposed to higher. So there's a bit more, um, again, muscle memory, hitting the, the rim of the, the bucket or, or the screws, um, which is what, what I've been trying to, I was trying to do here. Um, bit too light. Again, once you get that muscle memory in, it should be pretty easy. There's a stack of prizes there to the left that we've won so far. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very, very um, tricky. Um, you can sometimes do offers with them, but it just depends on who is on the stalls on the day. Um, yeah, as you can see, didn't win there, didn't win there. If you don't get the first ball in, never waste your second ball. Always use your second ball as a practice. Um, so there's there's one there. And then there's this, there's the second one there off the limb and off the rim and we win. Uh, I'll pass over to future, pass Scott. Cool. So as you've seen there, we've run some footage. I've just been, I managed to, so I don't know if some of you know, if we went back to our last video when me and Amy went to Thorpe Park, I wasn't able to fit into a Colossus. Um, this time I managed to get on. Uh, I was on row 14, which is right at the back, but it was really tight. So just a heads up, if you are six foot six and slightly on the larger side, try the back row 14, uh, either 14, basically all the even numbers because they're the higher ones at the back and you're not sitting so low and squashed in. So yeah, that's my tip. But anyway, um, I'll catch up with you later um, if I'm going to win some more toys or not, and then I will catch up with you at the end of the vlog. So there's a ride just there. It's called a, it's like a, a, I think it's called Prize Time Winner or something like that. I can't remember what it is. It's a small ride there, that one there. Um, I got on it uh, by myself and then got off. Um, and then someone else, uh, a group went to go on after me and they couldn't get on because I think I'd broken it. So it was out of action for a good, good two and a bit hours. So uh, yeah, that's what happens when a six foot six, 20 stone, four person gets on the ride. That's uh, a small one. So yeah. So last prize on the Pokemon. That wraps up the day here at Thought Park. Successful day. 
uh, for prizes for the hospice. I um, hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified of when we upload. And it's adios amigos and our darlings.